YouTube, welcome to a brand new Unity 3D tutorial. So, in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to carry on with our space um, part and we're going to give it some consistency. So, a few tu um, tutorials ago in the land tutorial series bit thing, we did a this is weird tutorial series on how to play the game basically so if we just load up and I can show you if you follow my land tutorials you will have had that if not it should be in the description this thing here so do you want to use the tutorial yes or no you click it it tells you how to play as you can see and it works really well so yeah we're gonna do that basically for space but first thing I'm going to do is show you how to actually trade you will say I have two characters, don't worry about it, I'm literally trying something. Basically, you all know when you fire it goes under the floor, really, really annoying. But it might be a Unity bug, that's the thing, because I duplicated my character, the entire thing, and it's working fine as you saw. So don't worry about it, duplicate it if you want, but the, I'm just keeping the hidden one. But you'll notice... If we run our game and then run up to the um, ship level thing, the universe where you go up to space here, this thing here, you go into it, it gives you an error. And that error is really, really simple to fix. If you just double click it, it will open in Notepad++ plus on Mono. And it basically says that on line 35, it doesn't know where it is. So if we go to line 35, which is this, it can't find saving and loading autosave. Because we've not equipped it, and also because it's not ready for land testing yet. So every time it says that, I'm literally just going to note it out. So game object that will find my scripts, get component, dot autosave. Just note it out for now. Um, the reason we can't use it is because the land, it doesn't save anything yet, it's only for space. We need to improve that. But yes, you, so you should now be able to go in and trade levels. So we run into it and boom, we load. Space. We go back in, load, land. And then we get an error, but we can fix that as well, but... Uh, don't worry about that. We'll fix it another time, but all we need is the space level for now. So we're going to basically copy the script, but modify it uh, slightly. So if you just look on in your um, project for tutorial, right here, we've got it. So we can attach this to the main camera or anything we want. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to attach it to the GUI scripts because it's a GUI thing. So I'm going to attach it to there. And you might be thinking, well, how do we make it work in land and space? We can use a boolean. So if we just press enter underneath all this, boolean, and we'll type var um, is land, it'll be boolean equal to true. So we're going to keep it by default as true. So then it doesn't mean we don't have to find it on land and we don't have to change it because it'll be true. So under all this here, we will literally type under the function if is land and I'm just gonna leave it blank like that that means is true so if is land equals true also click high quality on the video it like you get to see the code better and I'm gonna copy all this and move it across and then end it so if is land equals true play the land tutorial series and then here we put else if, since a boolean's only got two return values, true or false, else is obviously going to equal that. So here is where we put our space tutorial. Really, really simple. Boom. That's it. Obviously, we need to edit this stuff. So, do you want to view the use the space tutorial? And then up here, we'll type, do you want to use the land tutorial? So I'm going to close this, just so we can see all this. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit to help me because I'm on a 24 inch monitor and I can't even fit all this on my screen. So all this is really going to stay the same. All the um, positioning, everything, it's all done for us. So all we've got to do is literally change strings. So it, this might be a very short tutorial. And we're already on five minutes. Brilliant. So, do you want to use the space tutorial, yes or no? Welcome to tutorial series. In order to move your character, use the WASD keys. We can keep that. We know that works. In order to make your character attack, press the E key. 
We can we can't keep that. Eki does something different on this level if you remember. So if we just test our keys, because I've completely forgot. So let's see, Eki does nothing. Whereas the is the mouse key we want and then the camera look. So it's different. So what I'm gonna do first is actually equip the audio, so notification there. And then the style, we need to actually apply the inventory background. So if we type inventory, it's this one we want. So apply that, and um, link in the description again, and that should be make it look nice now. So if we go back to here, in order to attack, press the right mouse button. In fact, we're going to get rid of the button and I'm just going to put it after. So, right mouse button. Just like that. And then instead of if input.get key down, we type if input.get mouse button down. I spelled that wrong there. And then I believe it's two. Yes, I believe it is two. No, it's one. I remembered. So, one, what, zero. If you put zero, the zero is is your left key button one is your right button and then two is your middle so that's if you want it so press type press the right mouse button right mouse so here in order to make your character jump press the space key now we don't have jump so what can we do we could do camera move so in order to make in order to move your camera around press and hold the left mouse key mouse button try this now and same again so grab all this paste it in here so you've got to press and hold it if you remember so it's zero in order to make your character double jump now we can take double jump out because we don't have it but then it would ruin all this. So why don't we just replace it with something? And one thing I forgot is these aren't strings. These are ints. So every time you declare a number, don't set it as a string because you are setting it as a number. So get mouse button, numbers only. I always, always, always do that. It's annoying. But then when we play it, we can actually have a look what we can replace it with. So as you can see, do you want to use the land tutorial? So untick it so we can actually make it work because it's space so when we come back on do you want to use the space tutorial simple as that yes to move your character to move press well it's not welcome to so no, it's not a character it's a ship so let's change it so in blah 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 in order to move your spacecraft I believe spacecraft's one word I'm not sure but every time it says character, we have to change it. So obviously that one different. And I believe that's it. Yep, so we can try it again. And we play. And you will see that it's space. So it'll show us the space one when it loads. Press it. In order to move your spacecraft, press WASD keys. Well, WASD don't really do anything, so we might turn a bit out. Press the right mouse button to fire. In order to move your camera, hold the left mouse button. In order to... Well, we don't have it, but yeah. Commencing launch sequence in five. We do have hyperspace. Let's do that. So in order to make your spacecraft... Uh, what should we call it? All that. So in order to make your spacecraft enter hyperspeed, press the H key. Hyperspeed, two words, hyphen. There we go. And if the input like get key down H, in fact, we'll do it on up because, yeah, we're going to do it on up, just make it look neat. So, and um, they're not holding it down and it might cause an issue. So, in order to make your spacecraft enter hyperspace, press that. In order to view your inventory, press I. We can keep that. In order to change your weapon, hold the tilde key. Now, we don't have that. So, I am actually going to take that one out because we're running out of things to show. Change it back to 6. Make sure you put it. Then, it will come to here and say, thank you for the tutorial. I hope you enjoy this game. Perfect. So, let's change this last, the first one. 
so we get rid of the W and to there and get rid of D so it welcome to so in order to move your spacecraft press the W and S keys in fact I'll change it to or press the W or S key that's it and that's all, that's all we're really going to do. It is minuscule, like a tutorial, it's not a very good one and everything, but it's essential. We've got to have it in. If you don't have the tutorial script, go and get it. It's really, really good. But what I am going to do just before we continue and end this tutorial is I'm going to move it across, say, to 10. In fact, it's 800. So it's not touching the side buttons which we have, because we could incorporate them to the tutorial later. So, there we go, so maybe 7890, 780, I'll go with that. So it should be away from everything, shouldn't do anything. I hope you can hear the bing bing thing, I'm not sure if you can. So we play it, well, do you want to use the space tutorial? Yes. In order to move your spacecraft, press the W or S keys. In order to make your spacecraft attack, spacecraft, crift, press the right mouse button. Left camera, press H. Commencing, commencing launch sequence in episodes. five, press I, four, three, Thank you for two, the tutorial. one, Exit. hyperspace. Really simple. So, that's all we're going to do. If you didn't think it was a very good tutorial, don't worry about it. I'm not ending it. We are going to carry on and everything. It was just something we had to do. But we've now essentially fixed the broken link between our game. We need progression in our game. That's one thing a game needs, progression. And at the moment, our game is very minuscule progression. We need an objective system, which we're going to do soon. But we're just fixing little bugs. So like that link was an important mission thing, which was broken. So we fixed it. But then the user wouldn't know how to play space, so we fixed that. And we're slowly building blocks up. And then when we implement the objective system, as soon as they start, run the tutorial do you want to play it yes or no when they play play the tutorial and um, said that when they finish it it shows their objective if they click no it shows it anyway so it doesn't matter and then from that we can say go and complete the first mission for the farmer just to get your reputation up or something then that will give them that thing then the farmer could lead them to another mission then we've got the user bouncing through two missions and they've already begun the second mission will lead them to the space scene. So now they've got the vastness of the universe to explore. So the users are pretty quickly going to see how big the game is. But we also need to keep it not too fast for them that they play it. Two seconds later they're, they're in space, they haven't got a clue what they're doing, they give up with it. We need to keep them slowly going. So just as they're about to get bored or they think they're going to get bored, bam, here's space, enjoy kind of thing so hopefully it should work but anyway thanks for watching a bit of a long tutorial than what i thought it was please hit the thumbs up and over the next couple of tutorials um you might see another link for my website down below check it out it should be easier for you to use the code and the download system and everything because it's all in one place youtube you're a douche for implementing google plus to it and everything it's really annoying to see comments um, I am trying to find everything, but it's all confusing at the moment. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.